Since I returned from our fishing trip in Jordan where we caught giant squid and swordfish, I've been obsessed with catching more deep water creatures. We made it our mission for the remainder of 2023 to dial in our local swordfish bite. A giant sword will test any angler's abilities. They're one of the meanest and most powerful fish in the ocean. Our first sorting trip was with our buddies Drew and Jaga. Ready, let's hope she goes, goes and finds a big one. Want that buoy to lay over. We're sorting now. We're on it. Got the tip rod down. Mahi belly, fresh yeah. mahi belly that Drew got yesterday. If you want, rig the dart. You can give the dart a throw. The no, I've never thrown it. Never All right, rig the dart, John. I'll rig right it. Here. Just need to know the weight of it, huh? Yes, correct. Sometimes, you know what I mean, you don't want to go into something never doing it before, and just the fact that you throw it once or twice, sometimes you get a shot and they're down 10 or 15 feet. Yeah, you need to take it. Yeah, you, yeah, you know what? You might not get it again. Yeah, that stuff's quite heavy, eh? Yeah, you want it heavy. Yeah, just punch yeah. heavy. When they come up, wherever they may be, if it's out there, if it's out over here, you know, just make sure you're not standing on it. Line up. This hand I usually just use to aim, and this is my push hand. To, and it's heavy enough to where it has enough force, and I just come and give it a... I mean, you see how deep that went, and I'm saying because of the... Yeah, and I mean sometimes, sometimes if I see they're coming and they're coming easy and they're coming good and they're coming at me, I won't, uh, I won't throw. I'll, I'll wait till they get right here and, and either them. just, just. It's bite time. Mm. Wait for the rock. Wait till you got him on, bro. He's there. He's there. He's Drop there, it he's back. There, he's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. Josh, he's there. I got it. I got it. I got it. He's eating. He's eating. He's eating. Don't go too far. Drop the. Uh, stop okay. it. I've caught a lot of them, Josh. I, I, I mean, you can listen to me or you can do yeah. it. Okay. He's there, he's there, he's there. We got him, we got him. We got him, we got him, we got him. Yeah, yeah. He's got one. Insta drop. Insta right? drop, yeah. Where I wanted to go. Hey, Drew, it's almost like you know what you're doing. No. <laughs> no, why would you say that? He there? Yeah, he's there. It was heavy there, like first pull was yeah. heavy. It yeah, loaded he, up. He stalled it out, bro. Yeah. I backed the drag off, bro. There's no drag on it. There's barely any drag on it, bro. And he's on there. Okay. Just milking it. Give us a big smile. Milking. <laughs> there we go. Hey, can you do the he's R? Hey. Ah. Yeah. How does a sword the debate? Show it. Show it. I know. It was pretty quick. I looked at Jaga. I gave Jaga the big eyes. He, <laughs> he, 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 right, he turned around and then I went, rrr, rrr. But not. What's the sound that a swordfish makes when he eats the bait? Give <laughs> <laughs> it to the camera. I Show did it. it to the camera. I want to see it. I didn't see it. It's the big <laughs> rah, rah. We got a little that, cheesy. That, that, that's right better there. right there. I, I'm not 100% convinced he's there. Come on, Josh. I don't know. He's still on there, dude. Are you ready yet? 320. Stupid. It shouldn't be that Pump close. Pump the boat in gear, Jaga. There it is. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Go. Nothing's there. Easy. Nothing there. Unfortunately, the fish got off, but it didn't take long for us to hook another one. Hello. It's underneath the boat. Oh, this is a big boy. Big, it's a real one right here. Big one. I don't know. Hope it ain't bottom. No way. It's, it is bouncing like this. Yeah. I have to see the rod at all times, Josh. At all times. Don't stand in front of the rod, please. That's all you got to. Right. Right. Oh, oh he just oh. came off. Oh, he was bottom. Huh? He was bottom? Hmm. I don't know how far you came up off bottom. You, uh, you, you came up almost 200 rotations. You're a long way, man. We didn't waste any time. The fish were biting, so we rigged up a new leader and deployed our third bait. Ready, Drew? Yeah. Go. Bottom.
Oh, 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 oh. There he is. Back. There he is. Back, back in, back in, back again. There he is right there. He's hitting it. Got him. Oh, Cap. They wait up to four, 10 after four to get connected. Yeah, when that rod's bent, you don't have to, don't pull. Let it, let it stall right it out. Yeah, right. Angry. Right, let it stall it out. You don't want to come up right now. 660. Bro, we have, we really, we really can't get past 6, 650. Hit a big dog. He's a big one. Hopefully he's hooked deep and we can get a shot here. Yeah, yeah, he not. is, he's not, he's not little, I can tell you that. I could be wrong, but I'm saying over 200. What do you think, Jaga? It looks heavy. Oh, you got a nice one. It either comes up, 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 stop, stop, stop. Slowly coming up. It's a good one. We're within 100 rotations of the lead right now. Yeah. This is one angry fish. Yeah. Gaining right now, Gain, just gaining some yeah, nice Yeah, I know, because I'm going backwards. Lead, lead, get ready, get ready, get ready. Big clip. There, I see the fish. Nice, nice fish. Dart it, dart it, dart it. There you go. Thought it was foul hooked. Yeah. Yep, come in. Heck yeah. Hey! There he is. Well, That's right. It's a nice sword right there. He was hooked there right he here in the dorsal fin. Is this your first, first, yeah, first sword first. ever? Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> Our next sorting trip was with Jason Boyle and Maddie who were with us when we caught the giant Warsaw grouper. There's our bait right there. I sewed it up yesterday at the office. Barracuda belly, skirt, and got a little nice bloom dark crimp sleeve right here. 11 knot mustache, 7691. You ready? Are we north? Uh, go ahead, bud. Go ahead, here we go. We're doing a giant loop out here. There's about four mile an hour current, actually three to four mile an hour current today. So we're using 12 pounds of lead and we have to get out about 800 rotations in the reel from the lead. And then we do our circle, drive back on top of the line. And the goal is to get the line straight up and down, but you can't just drop the lead down because then you'll have a giant spin. Are you ready to turn? Sorry. If you just drop the lead down, what's gonna happen is your line's gonna probably twist up. You don't want that. It's a very expensive line. Wait, wait, wait. Eat that thing, girl. Eat that thing. Was that all fish right there, Josh? Come on, baby. Just had a nice swordfish bite. Fish was all over it. Josh dropped it back. Reeled it back up. Thought we had him there for a sec. Come on, baby. There. Oh, we, we got, got him. him. We got him. Woo! Oh, yeah, stalled it out, baby. Stalled it out. It stalled. All right, all right, all right. It worked, it worked. Well, this one got a little. Uh... Dude, it's a real one, bro. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, looking look, look, look a little heavier than the one we got last week, it looks like, off the bat. Got, got the line. I'm going to get the harpoon yeah, yeah. ready. Got the line, please. So I just backed on the drag a little bit. You never know how they're hooked, and it could be snagged. It could be hooked so good you can't, never, you couldn't pull it out if you tried. But until you see that, you better be careful. You gotta get that weight off. Once that weight gets off, that's when the fight really starts. Before you started swimming against that weight, when you just felt him come tight, that reel did not go anywhere. That line came tight and it stalled. So I'm gonna oh, yeah. say it's a good one. It's four to six with some seven footers, maybe bigger. Like when the horizon disappears like that, I went back there. That's unbelievable. But when you have that much wave and the boat's moving like that. That's when you can pull hooks off. So you want to back the drag down a little bit. Take your time. It's not a race. The goal is to get the fish in the boat. 390. Getting close. Oh, he's getting angry. Look at the rod tip. Look at the rod tip. I think, I think I'm going to keep heading this way for a sec, Josh, yeah. to try to get it up and get that weight off yeah. before I go into a turn. There you go. I just want to get that tension back in there again. Here comes the leg. Uh, um, Matt. Get that light off, get that light off. We 
almost lost the fish right there. We almost lost them. There it goes. See ya! <laughs> it's a real one! He's taking line! Look at that! Bye! Right the there she is, I see her, I see her, yeah, I see yeah, her. I, got color. I see her, I see her. Oh, big fish, nice fish, dude. Here she comes up, head coming up. There it is, right there, right there. Here we go, here we go. I go for it. Dead now. Going to the engine, stop, stop. Neutral, stop. neutral. Got the gap, got the gap, got the gap, got the gap. Got the gap. Gap in the head. The head. Yep. All right. Nice watch that bill, watch that bill. Come on, Mandy boy. Yeah, that's a nice I fish, did. dude. Look at that dart went all the way through him, bro. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> Mustad 7691 stainless. Epic sword hook right there, 11 knot. Nice fish. This fish fought so hard, dude. Yeah, he thought sure it was did. like 200 pounds. What do you think it really is, like 80? Yeah, probably something like that. A nice legal fish for sure. Yeah. But uh, yeah. that's one of the cool things about swordfish, man. It's, they all have different attitudes. Dude, I caught one this big on spin in Jordan. It's yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> I man, bet. They fight, this on spin is amazing. Yeah. Have, this bill is full of oil, and they, they coat their whole body with oil. You can feel it. And if you go this way, it's so smooth, like butter smooth. When you go this way, it's like a shark. Very rough, like sandpaper. What an incredible animal. One well, of the meanest fish in the ocean by far. We caught a bigger fish with Jason, but I was still searching for a sea monster. Our final sorting trip was with my good friend, Dr. Robert Borrego. He's the surgeon that took great care of me during my cancer journey, and he was also the person that was with us when we caught the giant tarpon in Colombia. We got a swordfish on right now. It is blowing northwest 6,000 miles an hour. Not really, but it's blowing. And we're out here with a good, a good man, Dr. Borrego. Pretty sure that we got something on there. I mean, look at the rod bending and bouncing. Oh yeah, we have a fish on there. There's no question that we do. He's getting in that warmer water, he's waking up. Yeah, I see there's a fish there. on there. Let me get the harpoon ready. Yeah. He comes away, he comes away, he comes away, he comes away. Here we go. I'll throw it, I'll throw it. I'm gonna keep the, boat, the fish right there for there you. Is, I see the fish, I see the fish. Swordfish streak continues, baby. Oh, he's gonna jump. Taking line? Taking line. What do you think he weighs, 70, 80 pounds? Nah, yeah, let, let, him, let him get tired a little bit. No, no, no. Let, uh, let him get tired. The light wasn't popping off. Don't, don't rush him. He's taking line, he's taking line, he's taking line. He ain't ready yet. He's gonna jump again, he's gonna jump again, there he is! He's jumping! There he is. Oh, he's an angry sword. Oh, it's a big wave. Lit up, he's lit up, he's going to the edge, he's going for the edge, he's going for the edge. I got it, I got it. All right, here he coming comes, up, okay. Coming up, coming here up, coming 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 he did it when he jumped. You see him? <laughs> that was beautiful. Dang it, dude. He's he came up. off. I mean, it's he Palm jumped. Beach release, but we got one. That still counts. It counts the that's sword. That's what you could do. He jumped and bit the hook. Are you saw him? Yeah, he, he, that's the he most. He went like this and on the way down. He three or four times. Unbelievable. Wow. Well, we got a soap of fresh bait here. I, I was questioning the whole time he was there. Like, oh, when the, when the, the rod was like this, and, and then the rod was bent I, I over. Say, I think we got one on there because yeah. it was not moving. Nice ladyfish. Beautiful sword bait right there. We'll show you guys how to rig these right now. I thought I had them though. You tried attacking the engine. He was deeper than he thought. Yeah. No, but don't worry because I know what I'm doing with the boat. You don't have to worry. I will not let him get under the engine. I promise you. Don't worry about. Just worry about you and let me do my thing. Yeah. Nice fish. I love them. I yeah. loved them. Oh, yeah, I wish we You know what? I, I love that fish. Yeah, no, I he, loved was, it. He, he was so he good. He was so aggressive. Here you go. All right, so what you do, you take these fins off. Cut the fins off right here. Usually you lose them like in the water, but he jumped up and spit the hook like a tarpon. Yeah, exactly, like a tarpon. Exactly. We'll get another one. 
Sewing in the wind's a lot of fun. You never know what, you never know where your wax is gonna go. Isn't that right, Robert? Exactly. Should we... I did up already in the tent in Iraq. How was that? The dust storm. It's a little tough. Yeah, you know how you keep them. Uh, if they're mushy, if you cut them and gonna save them, salt them really well. What's up? If you're salt gonna save them? some of these ladyfish baits, salt them really well so it doesn't really? get, it, yeah, it, takes, it, it makes them tougher. And it won't be as mushy. Really? But the skin is really good. Bait. That bait is perfect. Look at that bait, dude. What? Nothing wrong with that bait. Grab me that wax there, Davis, please. We were just, I don't know what we were talking about. We were talking about something, and no one's paying attention to the rod. And all of a sudden, we hear the line coming off the reel, like, like, <laughs> like screaming. We're like, what's going on there? I thought I was snagged, and we got a monster on right now. We could be here all night. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That would be nice. We got lights, right? Oh, yeah, on the boat, yeah. We're good. So we got lights. We have a satellite, folks. Everyone's going to think fine. we're dead. This is the fish, bro. This is the fish. This is it. This is the fish. This might be the man. This is the real deal. We're not going home empty-handed tonight. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Habashi, here we come. <laughs> He's swimming up. He's swimming up. I'm going to speed up the reel a little bit. Yeah, if you see how you speed up. He's swimming up, he's coming up faster, holy moly. He hit that warm water, he doesn't like it. How many revolutions are you right now? No, he's beyond 7, the 796. Warm yeah, he's right now on the warm water, yeah. There's so much flack, it's unbelievable. Holy dude. Coming up so fast. He's bringing that weight, that's a big fish that can do that, man. Yeah. On a 12 pound weight. Oh, he's there for sure. <laughs> Look at him dig in. I'm, he's already coming, trying to get behind the boat, look. Now this is the real deal right here, man. Oh my God. Let me look at him, let me look at him. He came up so fast. I had full speed on him. I know. That's why you need an electric reel right fish. there. No, this is a big one, this is a big one. Pull that kind of drag. No, this is the real deal. I mean, he's coming up, Robert. I don't know what to do. Set up the harpoon. But Just slow down. Going, I'm moving, moving the boat. boat. He won't go anywhere. The weight, the weight's coming right now. The weight's coming right now. Hold on. I got this it. pulling hard. Oh, he's big, dude. He's big, bro. Holy! Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Oh. Let, him, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. <laughs> That's a good. Let him get tired. Go set up, set up the harpoon. Let me get the harpoon ready. Let me get the harpoon ready. <laughs> How heavy was he, Robert? You hey, him? oh my, dude. I couldn't even bash that fish. Really? So he's angry now. Yeah. You made him mad. We don't even have the way yet. Oh, he's taking line, he's taking line. I know. Harpoon's ready. Robert, we got a monster on. I felt him. Over 200. Him. He's Went big, over he's big. I know, I felt him. I felt him. How big was he? And when they stay down like that on the first hit, it's always a big fish. Robert tried to, look, 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 he's running, he's running, he's running. Oh my gosh, look, 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 oh my gosh. He's taking line, look at him go. Oh, <laughs> Turn the reel off, because it's going to bury your line. Anyway. So we tried getting the weight off. We were so close. And Robert felt the power. He felt the I weight couldn't of even budge him. I mean, I had to let him go. It was gonna pull me under. We thought we were snagged. Yeah, I know. He's really, really a big fish. That's a nice fish. We're gonna have to be here at least an hour, hour and a half, two hours to get him in, into the boat. The previous store we had on was maybe 100 pounds, maybe. Jumped with the hook. This was might have been our last. Well, this obviously was our last drift of the day because we have a giant on. But we were planning to do one more drift. I thought I screwed up the drift. I was like, ah, I missed the I missed the spot. So we weren't really paying attention to the rod, and all of a sudden we can hear the line coming off the reel. I'm like, oh no, we're snagged. And Rob's like, you're not snagged, there's no way you're snagged. I started bringing them up, I was like, oh my gosh, it's moving. And while we were bringing it up, okay, the craziest thing happened, there's 12 pounds of lead on here. He came up so fast, I had to put this reel in full speed just to keep up with him. Look at the size of those head shakes. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. This is a monster fish, guys, this is it. This is the biggest swordfish we've ever hooked out here. This is, dude, this is him, bro. This is the man. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be out here for a long time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is Look him, Robert. Oh. That's him. Oh my goodness. Half an hour. We're already at half an hour? Yeah. The sun is starting to set and we're nowhere close to this fish. We almost had the weight off. We're back to 100, 546 rotation. This fish is crushing us. 
All right, I'm gonna make a prediction, Robbie. Ready? I'm gonna say this fish is no smaller than 400 pounds, and I'm gonna actually say that this is a 500 pounder. What do you think? You know more about fish than I do, so I'm gonna let you roll with it. I mean, this is unbelievable. You felt him, you felt the power. What did that feel like? He was big, he's a big fish. Could you even budge him? No. We okay. should not rush this fish. This fish should take us at least three hours to get him in the boat. Total. So it's gonna be dark when we land this fish. Oh, for sure, it's already getting dark. The man, the myth, the legend, we're 100 rotations away from the weight. We can't For the move second him. time. Bro, look, you can't move him, bro. This is the second time now. Yeah. Well, he's changed direction frequently to you know, this fish. I tell people this all the time, right? Like, you know, I grew up as a freshwater angler. And, you know, catching bass and musky and pike and carp is amazing, right? It's a lot of fun. I loved doing it when I was a kid. But when you get to see something like this, and I know we're using an electric reel. We're fishing in 1,600 feet of water with 12 pounds of lead. You're not going to hang crank that up. In the Gulf Stream. There's no way. There's, there's three knots of current out here. It's not happening, guys. But when you come out here and, and try this, this will change your life. It will change your entire perspective of fishing. You will feel like the world just got so much bigger. And I, like, I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. To see the power of this animal, we have an 80 wide, a Hooker Electric Penn International 80 wide. We got a really good amount of drag on this fish right now. And he doesn't care. And there's nothing better in the, in the world when you hook a fish that's so big and you feel helpless. There's nothing you can do to stop it. You're just like at the mercy of the fish. You're waiting for them to tire out. Look at those head shakes. This is a monster, guys. This is going to be the biggest swordfish of my life. 190. He's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. You ready? Yeah. 40 rotations. Robert, come by me. You got, you got an autopilot? Yeah. Pull it to me. Keep hold going. On, hold on, hold on. Got it off, got it off. Robert, get the boat, get the boat. Oh, he's big, man. Let him run, let him run, yep. let him run. Let him run, let him settle down. Don't rush him. All right, all right, all right, let him run. The other pilot got stuck. You turned it off, right? I got it off. off. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Keep turning, he's heading towards the boat. He's let him run a little, don't let him, don't he's let big. him. I just saw him, I just saw him, he's big. He's, he's really, really big. Whew. Let me look at him, please. The hardest part is over, guys, getting the weight off. That's the hardest part. It's the most stressful part of the whole thing. We got it off. And You're... we're about to lose all our game. Here we go, he's taking line. That's what we want, that's what we want. Yep. We want him to get tired. They I, always do this. I saw a glimpse of him. He, he's massive. Yeah. He's massive. Let me see, Josh. He's I can't right see here. him. He's right here. He's right I can't here. He's see right him. Here. I can't see him. I see him. the fish. I see the fish. I know, oh, but I gotta yeah. be able to see oh the line. Oh my gosh! He's headed towards the engine. He's headed towards the engine. Taking line hard. Oh, he did not like that. He doesn't like us too That's much. That's right. We're gonna kill him. That's alright. We got him. <laughs> we got him. Oh, exactly. So I had to put the reel in overdrive. You can see it's flashing red right here. The line isn't set at zero at the hook, obviously. It's set at zero when I start pulling, when I turn the reel on. You know, so for example, if this reel gets unplugged, that's it. It starts back at zero again, right? So you gotta be, you gotta go to overdrive for this last little bit to keep tension on that line. You don't want that reel slowing down. Overdrive just means it's gonna keep going. It will go, it will keep going until you stop it. Yes, I'm gonna estimate we're gonna get them in the boat by about, right now it's what? Eight o'clock? Well, it's six o'clock right now, 8.30, nine o'clock. Really? Yeah. Give me a long look, night. Look, 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 look he's, he's, going, he's going back down. Going back down, he's angry. Oh my gosh. Because it's so dark now, it's harder to see the light. I'm sorry, it's harder to see the line, it's harder to see the fish. Everything becomes more challenging, so the stakes just went up. Oh, got him going. Oh, this is unbelievable. He just came up. We had him within 14 rotations. He's back down to 300, 327. Two hours, another two hours. You think so? Easily, easily. Oh my gosh. At least two hours before we get this Old fish on the boat. Old man in the sea. 
We cannot muscle him if he's green. We gotta have him tired. What are you saying? I love you, fish. But I have to kill you. <laughs> I saw the bait in his mouth. You saw the fish? No. No, no, no. I saw the bait in the water and the corner of his mouth, and I saw a giant black mass underneath the bait. So this thing is huge. I want to see mono again. I love mono. Mono's, mono's our friend. Whenever there's mono on the reel and you're sorting, it means it's it's a good it's a good it's a good time. Wax loops in, in the reel, bimini's in the reel, the cat's paws in the reel, everything is good. Oh, don't go back down, don't go back down, don't go back down, don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh my gosh, what a beast, look at that. Don't go back down, don't go back down. I mean he is tough. Wait till he's out of the water. I'll tell you when to harpoon him. Move your, because don't hit the line with the harpoon. No, I know, I know. I'm going to tell you when to harpoon him. Get the line out of there, dude. Get the harpoon out of there. There you go. Just hold it back there. Second line, second line, second line. You weren't kidding you couldn't move him, right? Can't move him. <laughs> you know, it's funny, you know, a shark is obviously a very strong animal, but compared to this, not even comparable. No. A bull shark's got nothing on the sword. <laughs> you saw his bill? No oh, man, all I saw was the bait against its its body, and the body was just big and huge. He's near the surface, he, he, he might he might break surface now. Holy moly, he's out of control. Nine rotations, nine rotations. Oh, he's huge. Oh my gosh. Oh, huge bill, huge bill. Oh my gosh, look at the dorsal fin. Oh my gosh, what a monster. Oh. You saw him? Yeah, he's huge. It's a monster, dude. I saw the bill and the dorsal fin. Here we go, this is it. We're gonna get our shot right now, the harpoon. Wait, not yet. Wait, I know, I know, don't, I know, not yet. I know. Wait till he's all the way up. He's taking line out. Not ready, not ready yet. Not ready, nope. You have to see him out on the surface to be able to do it tonight, at night. Remember, I have it in overdrive, so I saw his, his dorsal fin's this big, dude. That's Jeez. nice. Really big fish. Come up, sweetheart. No! Come off. Ah, no. Where is it? Can you see him or no? Spit the hook out. What are the bow? Spit the hook out. Just spit the hook out. Let's see the uh, beginning and see what happens. Dude, I'm tired of losing big fish, man. Hey, that's fishing, man. Yeah, but that's garbage. <laughs> what can you do? He spit the hook out. He spit the hook out. He might have been foul hooks. No, he's in the mouth. There's no bite on the bait on the squid. There's no bite on the bait. I can't freaking believe that, dude. I, can't, I think he was foul hooked. I can't believe what just happened. It was probably foul hooked. Oh my gosh, he just lost a gigantic sword. That's so painful. It dragged us. Four and a half miles. Four and a half miles we've this fish for. Wow. I mean, the, the reel is so hot. Oh my gosh. Can't believe it. I wish I, I wish I had taken a shot at the dart. If it was daytime, I would have been able to hit, hit him with a dart, but you can't see anything. You don't, you don't want to take a risk. Losing that monster sword was one of the most painful fishing experiences in my life. We worked so hard and came so close to our goal of catching a massive swordfish. Regardless of what happened, this is just the beginning of our monster swordfish quest. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, and write a comment below. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.